In this video, we're going to look at the Likert scale and ways in which we might ask our students to categorise certain information, which will help us uh, establish whether they have a good understanding of particular concepts or not. So let's have a look at how this might work. So go to Add New, and then uh, we need to go right the way down to the arrow on the right hand side, and then we're going to go to Likert here. Now, as you can see there, it says Likert is used to gauge attitudes and opinions about a topic. So more often than not, the Likert would probably be used for a survey or a form rather than for a quiz. But there is a way around that we can uh, we can use this. So we're going to select that and then we get this structure here. So on the left hand side, you can see there are a number of statements and we can add more statements if we need to. And along the top, we've got a number of options and we can add more options and we can delete options if we want to as well. So that's our basic structure. And we will build this up and then the students will then decide which statement this particular or which option this particular statement belongs to so I'm going to build one up and so we can see what this might look like for real okay so I've now built out the question you can see I've put a question up here match these statements to the correct category of the Olympic Games so these are my categories the background of the Olympic Games the values the aims of the Olympic Games and Berlin 1936 and I put my statements down here so there are eight statements there so what I want to do then because I'm still in quiz I've got the option to allocate a number of points I'm going to put eight there we're going to come back to looking at the way we grade this in a moment because it's uh, it's quite an interesting one. It doesn't automatically grade, but we'll talk about that in just a moment. But for now, let's go and see what this looks like. So if I pop over to preview, this is what the students will see when uh, they activate the quiz. So we'll get the statement there, match these statements, and then just go down the radio button and they will choose whichever they think is the right answer. So I'm just going to do this um, very randomly and there's a reason for that as well uh, which we'll see in a moment now uh, I also wanted to show you that uh, for most of these statements they're one line but if you write more content then the space will automatically increase to allow you to put your uh, full statement in so that's that's what it will look like then for our students and when they're ready they hit submit and that's what it will look like now when we go when the student goes to view results if we click on view results now, you can see straight away it's a zero points out of eight. And that is because a Likert scale can't be automated in terms of marking. And so straight off, as we've said, the students will get zero out of eight, which actually isn't correct because some of these answers are right. So we're going to look now at how we can go back and mark that ourselves, uh, grade that up so that we can change this so we get a true reflection of how well our students have done. That will be in the next part of this video. So in order for me to change the score to give the student the correct score reflecting their ability and what they actually did in the quiz, I need to go up to responses. I then go to review answers. And when I click on that, you can see that would be me responding at five, how long it took. But this is the key thing. Look, zero out of eight, which isn't correct. So what I need to do is I need to go in and basically mark this myself. So I know that political propaganda for Berlin is the correct answer. I know that uh, peace, unity and fair play is an aim of the Olympic Games. I know that inspiration is not part of background of the Olympic Games, but I do know that excellence is a value. Uh, public schools is not a value. To educate young people through sport is not a background. Much when not games is not an aim. But I know that Jesse Owens was involved with the Berlin 1936 game. So that's four that I've got correct. So I need to come back up to this box here change that you can see it says needs review so we have to put something in there I'm going to put four out of eight and then I would uh, click the three buttons there and that would say post results or response but the fact is I've already done this so I can't do it anymore but that would say post results and response and that would be done be done then I can go back to the post scores I click on post scores and you can see the respondent five that's me I've given myself uh, four out of eight, or given the student four out of eight, 50%, and then that status is posted, which means that the student can then go back and look at what they did. They can click on the quiz again, the link to the quiz again, and they can see the marks that they've been given.